This week's Week 13 Mountain West Conference matchup has the Boise State Broncos come in in the Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys. The Cowboys are 8-2 overall and 5-1 and in conference play after last week's 39-35 loss to the rival, the Colorado State Rams. A current look at the Mountain West Conference standings after Week 12. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on the injury report. A look at the National Top 25 Rankings. The current Heisman Trophy watch after week 12. The current Cowboys individual stats.
the current Cowboys recruiting board. And now, our Week 13 Mountain West Conference Showdown as the 6-4 Boise State Broncos come into Laramie to take on the 8-2 Cowboys. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just poured their souls into the success of this program and honor the seniors on Senior Day. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Boise State Broncos, taking on a fellow Mountain West foe, the Wyoming Cowboys. And the Broncos will get us started with the opening kickoff. Here he comes with the return. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Wyoming Cowboys offense will have the first possession of the game. He brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but the, he makes the whole team better, but the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need him. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but... That usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. Finds his man down the middle. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. He wants to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in a coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Dialing up a second down pass play. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. You just gotta finish the play. That should have been a pick. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. It's complete to the left. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Cowboys will send out the punt unit. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. So the Boise State Broncos offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Scanning the field, it's Nelson. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. He's going to run it. 
Oh, ball's out. And the defense jumps on him. They get that turnover. And, man, I love my quarterbacks that want to make plays and make those big plays and scramble around and get away from people, but you got to tuck that football away when you're going to run through arm tackles and people are around you dive and make sure you got that thing locked up. He did, and defense took advantage of it. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up with an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. They'll run it from the gun. The Cowboys pick up the first down. Well, that's just tough, hard-nosed running. You need one yard to get, let the running back figure it out. They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. He's going to pass. Looking down the middle. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Tips, deflections, those are such good things for defense. A lot of times they lead to interceptions and big plays. Just try to get any kind of disruption you can. Line getting set on second down. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops to throw. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Three straight incompletions and undaunted. They'll go for it on fourth and ten. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got him downfield. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. They needed a bunch on fourth down, and boy, did they get it. And I get aggressiveness. We get aggressiveness. We want to be aggressive, take shots down the field. First half, they felt like fourth and long. No big deal, and they get it. I imagine we'll get a few more of those. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, and how about this uh, offense? You, you think of this offense, you think of throwing the football and top 10 passing in all of college football, but the defense knew something, right? Like, you could tell they were going to come out and run the football. They brought out the goal line, brought in some big boys, and really was... And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He uncorks a laser deep down the middle. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. Well, that's the danger about being in a third and long situation. You've got to push the football downfield, and the defense is expecting it. So they've got guys in the back end with their eyes on the QB. They're able to make the interception. This offense is going to have to do a better job generating better plays early in drives moving forward. Boise State ready to send out that offense. They put it on the ground last time they had it. Got to take care of it this time, David. And I think you've got to put it in context. A lot of times, fumbles are just luck. 
You, you just got to move on, give him the football again, Jesse, and not worry. I think that's a good point there, David. Get him the ball again to help him play the next play and know that he's okay. Because when that guy's playing well, this offense is on fire. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, it's Nelson. He's got his man. Gets the job done on third down as he gets it to the 25 before he's brought down. This time they'll go to the running game. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. The Broncos headed quickly to the line. To the air on first down. He's got his man. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. The inside handoff. Dances away from one. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. And the Broncos come to the line with a new set of downs. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Hits the spin cycle. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. Leaves it with the back. Runs through the tackle. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. A first down for the offense. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. It's first and 10 from the 31. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. They'll run it from the gun. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Yeah, and you could see the running back, man. He was smelling the end zone. Nice cuts, nice job getting all the way down the field. And he gets so close to punching it in. You could tell he wanted to, but pushed out of bounds at the two. And guess And they will score. Touchdown, Boise State. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone, inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. But the offense puts a great drive together, great job executing, great job getting a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Fielded in the end zone. It's King. He was looking for some running room. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. 
No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. The give to the back. Just broke the tackle and still on his feet. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. You've got to keep defenses off balance. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Fullbacks are a dying breed, but when you see them, it just reminds you of the big old neck roll, just huge, stout fire plugs that you don't want to hit. But on short yardage situations, occasionally, you give the big boy the ball, there is no... And the defense gets to the quarterback. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. What a great job by this defense, setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. He's looking downfield to throw. He slings it deep to the left. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And the Cowboys line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Tries to find a little more running. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And here comes the offense on second down. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Back to throw. It's Nelson. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put six DBs on the field in my dime package and I can still get home rushing four. My guys up front are better than your guys and we're going to go prove it. And they did just that. The Broncos will call on their punt team. Sends his first one of the day on the way. We didn't see much of him in that victory last week. Just called on one time touchback Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out David the putter got some work last time they'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive yeah it's not something you want to say very often you don't want the putter out there this offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Back to the ground with the running back. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. The give to the lone running back. 
Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Fast motion from the offense. That's caught. It's Brown. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. And you want consistency from your quarterback, man. You don't want the up and down. You don't want the roller coaster. And last week, man, you had the highs of highs, and now this week, just off. He's all over the place. He's not completing the ball at a high percentage, and you just want to find some middle ground and some consistency so this offense can find out exactly who they are and build it consistently. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And the Cowboys send out the punt unit. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. They bring the punter onto the field now. He'll try to really get into this one. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. We reach for the break. First down here for the offense. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Dropping back, it's Nelson. Using the quick game. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Facing a third down and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. He'll wave for the fair catch. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think going to let it fly. And it's caught inside the 30. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Barely time to catch our breath after that one, and they've got it first and ten, threatening just outside the red zone. Just going to keep it after the snap. 
If I'm building an offense in today's football, it's not around a quarterback that can. I'm going to find an athlete that I can give the ball because defensively, it starts to limit your coverages. It starts to limit what I can do. It makes me play the quarterback every single play. Just makes your job as a defensive coordinator extremely hard. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Completes it in the middle. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. It's as if that ball had a magnet going back to the offense. How in the world did they keep it? There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. Unloads to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Brown. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They'll try to pound their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And I love that this offense stuck to it. Stuck to the run game. Didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they want it now. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. He'll try to tack on one more. Splits the uprights. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, who's got a better seat there today in Laramie than you do? And a compelling first half for a variety of reasons. Yes, there's a substantial lead to talk about, but I think it all starts with this defense that has more than made its share of big plays. If things keep trending in this direction, you can bet a ton of those backs and receivers are going to spend a lot of time in ice baths before the end of the day. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the highest elevation in all of college football, War Memorial Stadium. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll open the second half with a run. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air, it's Nelson. It's complete on the right side. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. They'll leave it with him. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. And now on third down after that last run. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. He's racked up 92 yards on the ground, and he's been terrific all season, ranking in the top 10 in rushing. They're bringing heat. And the blitz gets to him just like that. 
The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Got room on the return. And he was looking for the pick six. He'll have to settle for getting it inside the 30. Man, I feel for this quarterback. I've been there before. I mean, you're playing at night. It's super cold. It's going to be hard to execute these passes. That one got away from the QB, and he throws a pick.
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Unleashes one deep. It's broken up and almost intercepted in the end zone. It'll be fourth down. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. Well, they're able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would like to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, and something can start to build. Pulls it and fires to the left. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. And finally, a little production in the passing game. That has been sorely lacking in this one. And the Broncos moving quickly to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. Complete to the left. Touchdown, Broncos! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, it's a final now in one of the more intriguing games of the week, that notable top 25 clash. Colorado went scorched earth. The starters there in that fourth quarter. Total destruction by the Buffs in a statement win, if there ever was one. Really unexpected outcome in this ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup. The type of loss, guys, that'll get the attention of even a good football team. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Fires to the wideout. 
wide open downfield. Hit the afterburners, kid. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. One of the first things I want to do when I come into a game is I'm going to go, where do I have the advantage? Where are my guys better than yours? And maybe they feel good about their matchup out wide. Some of those wide receivers making some of these big plays down the field. This is a good sign for this offense. Well, look what's happening now. Old Uncle Mo has hit the transfer portal and is changing sidelines. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking for a man, it's Svoboda. And they're on him in a heartbeat, and down he goes. This defense has taken the game over. They're winning the game in large part because of how dominant they've been up front and how good their pass rush has been. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Called the, the fake, and he wants to throw. And they thought. It's nice to be a riverboat gambler and all, but man, oh man, when it goes against you, it can be ugly. Looking for space, it's Genty. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Broncos get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One quarter to go, and Mike, we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Back to pass, it's Nelson. Finds his tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Second down coming up. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes a catch at the 15. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Broncos! They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. You saw a great example of it right there. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth-quarter lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He thought about bringing that out.
Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Running back goes in motion. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Brown. Good call. Good execution as they move the chains, and they have a first down at the 38. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Looking to go up top on first down. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. To the air, it's Svoboda. Quickly out to the tight end. And midfield, he's got room. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. And on the heels of that last big play now, you'd love to keep the momentum going and score quick. How about staying aggressive, try to throw this thing into the end zone. You need to get the ball back, and you need to save as much time as you can. The Cowboys getting set on first and 10. And off to Jones. Discards a man. Across the 25, he's got room. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! Old Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, gets you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. Oh, Uncle Mo on your side. They'll go for two here and try to climb within a field goal late. They want to throw it. Looking to the end zone, but the pressure gets there first. And the quarterback is sacked, and the two-point conversion attempt is stopped. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Boise State ready to send out that offense. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David, if they can add to it on this drive. It would... He's going to let one fly down the middle. And the DB right with him to knock it away. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. A hand to the running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. The defender crossed the line a little bit too early. It's a free five yards for the offense. Dropping back, it's Nelson. And he'll make the grab along the sideline, but he's not able to get to the first down marker. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the result of the play. And the Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Not going to risk a re Line gets set, first down. And off to Jones. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. 
And that's the look in man coverage you can throw the hitch route against, right? When the receiver's got a little bit of access, so he's got some room to work with, against press, you're risking a pick six. So good decision there by the Q, knowing that was a good look to throw in. He's got it all right. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Wyoming. They've got the lead here in the fourth. And a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. yards passing in the game defensively David he has got them on their heels and he's been showing you a little bit of everything he can throw it all over the field to all different receivers to his tight ends to his running backs really has the ability to spread it around and now over 300 yards still some time left and he can put up even bigger numbers and heck go chase some awards man get some postseason awards get an all-american just put up a day Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They're going to throw it to start the drive. He makes the connection. Great job by the receiver catching that curl route. And did you see the way he came back to the football? That's a great lesson for a lot of young receivers out there. You create separation by coming back to the quarterback. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Open. Open. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. They're going to run it. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On third and long, he has to throw for it. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? The Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. He'll call for the fair catch. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Here's the handoff. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. And every coach in America has a plan for this situation. The first four minutes of the game, the last four minutes of the game. How I'm going to construct my offense. Most of the time, I got to be physical. Run the football like right here. Run that clock. Get a few first downs, and I can end this football game on offense. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. To throw, it's Svoboda. Gets it out fast. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practice this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. The give to the back. Tackled, but he has a first down. It's hard to stop great numbers. 
It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. And the Cowboys look to keep this drive humming. And off to Jones. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. Give to the running back. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Head it to the end zone. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. You already have the lead. Scoring is always good, but milk the clock and it will be your friend. Trying to barge their way in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, I think my thought process needs to be points are good. Because if I get a field goal here, that's fine. I take the lead by more than a field goal. They got to go the length of the field. But I also want to run this clock. Let it continue to work. But the goal is to get a touchdown. So let's see what this offense dials up next. Can the D deny them on second and goal? The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. If they can pay off this third and goal with a touchdown, it might be getting a little tough to swallow over there on the other sideline. You get down in the red zone and then you have a couple of plays like this offense has just put out there, this can absolutely ruin your day. Keeping it on the ground on third and goal. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. And decision time coming for this offense. How about the defense? They've hung in there, Palmer, made him earn it all the way down. Now, are you going to go for it on fourth down? Yeah, you know, after running so many plays offensively on the drive, I know it'd be disappointing to only walk away with a field goal, but you'd feel even worse if you went for a touchdown and didn't get it. I think you kick it right here. field goal was huge now it takes a touchdown to beat you and not a lot of time to get it if you cover the kickoff well 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Getting some heat. He'll pull it down and run. That will be the final play as they make the stop, and the clock has expired here. It's one thing to execute early in the game. Tight ball game, right at the end. You need the clutch plays. These guys deliver. And you can't teach that gene. You have people that, that, that can focus in the moment or they can't. Great job by the team. Stay in focus, understanding it's a close battle. Win those one play at a time, and then look up, and then, heck, I got the win. Yeah, David, they just had ice in their veins, and you can tell there's tremendous leadership on this football team. Guys can step up, and in the huddle, they can make sure that everybody else is focused to the task at hand in order to get the W. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 14 season finale matchup has the Cowboys traveling to Pullman to take on the one of the two remaining members of the Pac-12, the Washington State Cougars.